Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a review of the MacBook Air 11 inch. This is the latest 2011 model, and the one I have here has the 1.6GHz Core i5 processor, 4GB of RAM, and a 128GB solid state drive. Take a look around the Air, and you'll see it is unlike most other laptops, with a razor thin design and tiny footprint. What I found most impressive is just how usable the 11 inch Air is. It features a full size keyboard, impressively large trackpad, and bright 11.6 inch screen. Inside, you'll find a new dual core Intel Core i5, clocked at 1.6 GHz. Don't let the low clock speed fool you, the Air is actually quite respectably fast. It can turbo all the way up to 2.3 GHz and features hyperthreading, which lets OS X see it as a quad core CPU. Ordinary tasks like web browsing are right on par with my 4 GHz quad core Windows desktop, and even when you get to heavy lifting like video editing and gaming, the Air can keep up. I work with video all day, and while I still go to my editing rig most of the time, I've used the Air to edit some high definition videos, and have been quite impressed with how well it handles it. You probably won't want to spend your days editing in Final Cut with this, but it certainly will work in a pinch. Gaming performance is a bit less impressive, but certainly doable. Even newer titles like StarCraft 2 can run without a problem as long as you don't mind turning the graphics down. The secret sauce behind this performance in a laptop that's largely thinner than the iPhone comes down to a few key components. The ultra low voltage Core i5 is a big part, as are the integrated HD3000 graphics. However, the real kicker as to why the Air is so snappy is the solid state drive. If you aren't familiar with what a SSD is, I'll be brief. Most computers use a spinning hard drive, which while typically gives you more hard drive space, are just flat out slow. A solid state drive is just a collection of chips, which not only are vastly faster, but are also less prone to being destroyed by something like dropping your laptop. Tech jargon aside, this makes the Air absolutely snappy. It boots and wakes up from sleep in seconds, and applications load in a fraction of the time that a normal laptop would take. I'm a huge proponent of solid state drives, and very glad to see Apple including one on the Air. Battery life is also quite impressive for an 11 inch laptop. Under a light load with simple web browsing, you get around 4.5 hours out of a charge, and with very intensive use such as video editing or gaming, you're looking at something more like 2.5 hours. The 11.6 inch display is impressive in several ways. It sports a resolution of 1366 by 768 giving it a very high pixel density. Text and graphics really pop, and in addition the brightness and clarity on the panel are good. The keyboard is the exact same size and layout as on the MacBook Pro. It's among the best laptop keyboards I've used, with decent throw and nice spacing. New with the 2011 model is backlighting, which is adjusted with the F5 and F6 keys and makes using the air in darker places much easier. I can't say enough about the trackpad. It takes up as much surface area below the keyboard as possible without getting in the way of the palm rests and works well with the new gestures included in Lion. Unfortunately it's not all good. The webcam is only VGA quality and while you can see it's not awful I do have very good light here and in general I was not even going to compare to the FaceTime HD cameras on the MacBook Pro and the iMac. Taking a close look around the computer, on the left you'll see the MagSafe power adapter, a USB 2.0 port, headphone jack as well as a microphone. On the right you'll find the second USB for a total of two, as well as the new Thunderbolt port for connecting high speed accessories, as well as doubling as a mini display port for an external monitor. Even with a close look at the sturdy all aluminum construction, you won't even notice the exhaust until you fire up the air. Cleverly hidden in the hinge is where hot air is released from the chassis, and only when you really get the air doing something strenuous does the fan become noticeable at all. The laptop does get uncomfortably hot at these times though. One question I've been asked quite a bit is how the 11 inch form factor works. While everyone's tastes are different, I found myself loving it. It's still large enough to get work done without straining your eyes, but it gives you a highly portable design. If you're looking for a computer to stand in as your main machine, the 13 inch probably would be a better choice, but if you have another computer or want something more portable, the 11 inch is absolutely great. After seeing generation after generation of MacBook Airs come and go, this was the one that finally got me to take the plunge. This model retails for $1199 and is really the only base configuration I can recommend. There is the option to go down to 2GB of RAM and a 64GB SSD for $999, however unless you plan on using the Air like a netbook, you would be better off to spend the extra money, as upgrading it yourself would be more expensive with the SSD and nearly impossible with the RAM. Using the Air for the last month has been an interesting experience. For me, it has been the right blend of performance, superb design, and form factor that makes it an excellent secondary machine. If you are in the market for a laptop and the price doesn't put you off, I highly recommend at least trying out the MacBook Air. It's easily the best laptop I have ever used. If you want to be awesome and help the channel, leave this video a thumbs up, and if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe.